Let's talk about secure loans. Why do people need secure loans? When you look at the rates, they tend to be a lot more expensive than a traditional mortgage. So why do they need them? Why do you know? Why do people take out secure loan mortgages? And why do brokers charge so much more? When you speak to some of the specialist brokers out there for secure loans, they seem to be charging a lot more money than a, your traditional mortgage. Um, I have to say a niche advice: we don't. We'll just treat it as a mortgage. Um, but you know, until recently, we charged a lot more as well. So why is that? And and we'll touch on some of the real reasons why secure loans could be beneficial and why they're not necessarily right for everybody. So I uh, hope you watch this video. If you, if you enjoy it, like and subscribe as always, and I'll catch you there. Take care. Hi, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Um, I'm going to do a, a section where I am uh, answering some questions, some of the questions that are left underneath the videos. i um, got a question by Raj who has said, can you touch on secure loans for me and specifically why the fees are so high on secure loans, or broker fees generally. So let's talk about them. So there's a number of reasons why people ask for secure loans or people opt to go to why than secure loans or we advise on secure loans okay um, one of them is uh, if they have got a very attractive already a very attractive residential rates so and maybe they're on a Bank of England point something where it's very very low it's a historical rate so that's been around and they don't want to move away from that or maybe they're on an interest only mortgage and they don't want to move away from that okay so that's one of the reasons um, they tend to opt for us we tend to opt for a secure loan um, now what happens as a secure loan is you tend to keep that mortgage okay and then another loan it's called the second charge another charge is put behind that uh, mortgage okay so uh, some of the consideration that needs to be taken into account not all lenders not all first charge lenders so the original lender will allow a second charge to go behind it okay so that's important so it's understanding your existing uh, mortgage uh, who your provider is how much your monthly costs are and um, what the term of the mortgage is um, so that's one of the reasons why people take secure loan other reasons could be because of um, um, secure loan lenders are more generous on affordability calculators maybe they'll take a greater level of income they're more flexible around what types of income they will use so often when someone is looking to capital raise maybe let's just say for home improvement maybe they want to build an extension um, they've got a couple of options one remortgage okay so if they're not too bothered about their residential mortgage lender uh, and keeping with their own ex existing um, rate if they're out of the early repayment charge they could remortgage they could still remortgage if they're in their early repayment charge it just depends on how much it is and what the rate is and what the savings are um, you could go for a further advance and that's essentially approaching your own existing lender to say look you know I want to build an extension can I have a further advance can I have another 20 30 40 whatever it is okay thousand pounds uh, and that, that that could be an option um, or you could opt to go for a secured loan so keep your existing mortgage term keep your existing deal and just go for a secured loan itself often some people what they do is they say look you know I'm in a five-year fix uh, I don't think I've got the affordability maybe with my existing lender I've checked with them and they're not giving me enough can you look at an alternative option for me and then in three years time I will refinance the whole lot under a normal remortgage so there are lots of reasons and you know another thing is maybe their employment type or their, their um, credit profile all of those things will determine why somebody would go to a uh, secure loan um, now let's talk, talk about and debt consolidation is another one which is a massive um, uh, massive massive sector um, uh, which is you've got to be really be careful around debt consolidation and, and securing um, <clears throat> uh, unsecured debt into a secured environment so if you take a credit card for example or a personal loan and then you want to consolidate that into a secured loan so do a debt consolidation mortgage you know those adverts used to get oh they put everything into an easy and manageable loan one loan well that has consequences the consequences could be is if you right now fail to pay your credit card you may get a default you may even get a account we call judgment but no one's going to come and repossess your house if you put that debt on top of your mortgage you will get repossessed if or you may get repossessed if 
you fail to pay make payments on that mortgage okay so um, moving in secure debt unsecured debt moving credit card debt over to a security room all of those things that need you need specific advice around um, you need to work out whether it's affordable uh, for you longer term because essentially you're also doing is you're taking a short term level of debt maybe a credit card debt or maybe a loan that's three years four years five years and you're putting that onto a maybe a 25 year mortgage okay so when you work out the calculations although one initially has a very high rate let's say a credit card or a loan maybe it's got a seven percent rate and a remortgage or a secure loan maybe you have a three percent rate however when you kick that loan down the line for 25 years um, it could be a lot more expensive to do a debt consolidation onto a secure loan or a mortgage okay so <clears throat> greater level of expertise knowledge uh, is needed to deal with secure loans so let's talk about the cost why do they cost so much why do brokers charge so much and why why are the rates more expensive generally on a secure loan than a normal mortgage okay so um, let's look at the pra practicalities generally secure loans are l smaller loan amounts okay you're talking about I don't know 20 30 40 50 60 K loans you're not talking about a 400 K mortgage okay so that's one thing involved but there's a greater level of work generally needed I've just explained some of the things that a broker has to look at okay so as a greater level of work uh, and emphasis needs to be done on the compliance side of things because what you're talking about is borrowing additional amounts okay whatever the reason is obviously the worst type of um, borrowing is debt consolidation right the way through extensions and doing bits and pieces but all of those things need to be discussed and calculated and put in writing to you okay um, so there's there's greater uh, effort needed now the way mortgage lenders generally pay brokers is by the loan amount they'll give you a percentage so 0.35 of the loan amount 0.32 of the loan amount okay now when you're talking about a 30k loan okay um, you're not going to get a lot of remuneration out of that okay maybe one at most one percent half a percent okay so there's not much money there so they've got to charge a fee now what that fee is is the brokers each it's a it's a, it's a competitive market and each broker can choose to charge what they do some brokers I've known they charge five percent of the loan amount some ten percent some have got minimum you know one thousand nine hundred ninety five pounds minimum fees um, others like us um, we used to charge a percentage fee I think two and a half percent three and a half percent of loan but we scrapped that I actually scrapped it and I just think um, I'm going to just treat it as a mortgage okay and you've got to take it in the chin you know what we will say is look uh, we'll charge 499 pounds just like we do on a mortgage just like we do on a bridging loan okay um, yes there's a greater level of work needed yes there's a greater level of um, uh, documentation but from my perspective I would rather do the deal uh, and not do the deal uh, and I would rather feel um, that uh, I'm giving value and some clients it's going to be right for some clients and it might not be right for the others from my own uh, perspective or our own perspective we've decided as a business to say look we can still make money we can still make it work at 499 pounds not payable until completion of the mortgage okay now that could work for some people and it could be wrong for others but I think that's the way we've decided to to treat to secure loans um, but everybody is different and you know w the most important thing is you've got to uh, understand when you're talking about secured loans secured on your property so you've got to keep you know it's important you keep up repayments with your mortgage otherwise you could be in danger of getting repossessed um, and always seek professional advice when you're coming to getting secure loans and that advice could cost right the way through the range you can shop around and you can speak to various lenders there's not that many lenders out there on secure loans whereas a mortgage there's lots of you know hundreds of lenders out there secure lenders there's not many um, it's been hit quite dramatically because loan to values have been hit with those lenders um, it's not going to be right for everybody but there is a place for the secure loan market and it's evolved quite a lot there's been quite a lot of regulatory scrutiny around it and I think that will continue as as more ambulance chasing is done frankly and you've just got to make sure that you are dealing with a reputable and a knowledgeable firm thank you so much take care
The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.